Hi, welcome to Feathers of Wisdom. I'm Stacy, the Black Feather Intuitive. This week I am talking about the difference between a tarot deck and an oracle deck. I recently just had a friend ask me, well, I don't get it. What is the difference? You know, I'm, I'm uh, working with a tarot deck. I'm working with an oracle deck. I don't really understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. Why are they separate? Why are they different? I, I don't understand. Um, and so I thought, okay, well, what a great uh, topic to um, discuss this week. So a traditional tarot deck is 78 cards. You've got major arcana and you've got minor arcana. The minor arcana, or Canada, there's my Canadian background coming through. The minor arcana uh, can be equated to a regular deck of playing cards. You've got four suits, you've got clubs, uh, spades, diamonds, and hearts. And so the minor arcana is uh, wands, swords, pentacles or coins, and cups. Um, so that's the minor arcana. And then you have the royalty cards. Um, so you've got kings, queens, uh, jacks, and uh, what, what do we have in the, the regular um, the playing deck? In, in, the, in the tarot deck, we've got kings, queens, uh, knights, and um, pages. Uh, traditionally. So it follows suit, haha, with uh, the, the playing cards, the suits in the, in the playing cards. Um, the major arcana is 22, um, a pattern of 22 cards laid out and it's all about sort of the beginning of a person's journey and there are three different segments, three different phases within that uh, 22 cards um, that sort of lays out a, a person's life and, and goes over a person's life. And major arcana cards are all about the big things in life, the, the big themes of your life, uh, dealing with your life's purpose. And the minor arcana are, are more about the everyday issues, the everyday things, um, and, and, and speaking to that, uh, giving a sort of a level of, of um, intensity for what you're supposed to be looking at. With oracle decks, oracle decks are not as structured. Um, so I'm gonna start with this um, Oracle of Visions. And this is one of my favorite oracle decks. When I first got this deck, when it arrived, I bought it on Amazon and when it arrived, I was like, I mean, the cellophane was still on it. And I was like, oh, I can feel the energy. It was very, very exciting. So, um, I really like these cards. So, an, an oracle deck does not have to be 78 cards. There's no um, set structure in terms of, or set number in terms of how many cards there are. So there's a lot more freedom for the creator of an oracle deck to do whatever they uh, would like to do. Also, or oracle decks tend to have a theme. Um, so this one is the Oracle of Visions. So each card is a different vision of an aspect of our lives. And um, as you can see, each card really tells a different story. There's a lot of colors here. The, card de the cards themselves are uh, larger. They're wider than a um, traditional tarot. That gives you an idea of the size of it. This is also by the same, this is a tarot deck by the same um, author and artist. So with oracles, um, the creator of the oracles has much more freedom uh, to sort of design a deck around whatever theme they would like. Uh, some of the oracle decks, as you can see, there, there's no words, there are no wordings, um, only numbers on these decks. So the picture really tells the story in this particular deck. Now in this deck, we have Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. This is a Colette Baron Reed Oracle deck. Great deck. It's a, a new one that I've been working with. Here's the back cover. Um, so if you can see, this is how hers are struc uh, uh, structured. The Hawk Prince. So she's all about hidden realms. She's all about getting deep into the subconscious and bringing that out. And so the Hawk Prince has spirit communication and paying attention. So that is the theme of this card. That's the message of this card is uh, communicating with your higher guidance, with your uh, inner guidance and paying attention. There are signs um, all around you about various different things. Oracle decks also come with 
uh, a nice, this one is a nice thick book and in it she gives a uh, description. So the Hawk Prince is 11. So she gives a written description um, about the card forward and reverse. So she happens to, uh, in tarot you can read the card right side up or upside down. Upside down is referred to as reverse and it's basically the, um, the you look at the positive and the negative, two sides of a coin. Um, when it's upright, it's the positive side of the coin. When it's um, uh, upside down, red and reverse, it's sort of the negative side of the coin or the opposite um, side of the coin. So two different sides of the message. I don't read reversals because I read intuitively and I get the message that the individual needs right off the hop um, uh, in terms of where they're going and what perspective they need. Um, but if you do happen to, to work with uh, reverses, um, she does this as well in her oracle. So here the positive side of the coin is ally. And I'll just give you a little brief um, idea here. The Hawk Prince uh, appears with good news. He flies into your life to alert you that a message is coming to help you manifest your destiny. She goes on. Um, then she also has a challenger. So if this were upside down, she says, the Hawk Prince challenges you to pay attention and listen to the warnings being sent your way. Are you pushing forward in spite of others' cautionings about the direction you're headed? Are you refusing to listen to your own inner voice? So the nice thing about oracles, and one of the reasons why I really love oracles, is when I'm reading for others, the messages just flow. There's no block of any kind. When I am reading for myself, sometimes using tarot doesn't always work well for me because I'm too close to the situation and I'm not able to get to the heart of the matter of the message. My brain gets in the way. I'm thinking, oh, could it be about this or this? So it's just, I don't get enough clarity with an oracle because the message is right there in your face and in the book, it really helps to, for me, to get the message. It's very clear, it's very concise, and then I'm like, oh, I know exactly what that's about in my life. So basically, that those are the differences between tarot and uh, oracle cards. Oracles really are about um, directing a specific message around a theme. Uh, angels, so we have uh, angel prayer, oracle decks. These are all angel cards, which I will go into in a um, different Feathers of Wisdom. Um, there is a deck here that is Ascended Masters. Um, I have a, a beautiful a bird deck, a deck with all sorts of birds. Um, and they all have different messages and different themes around how they're approaching the message. With tarot, it's basically a pattern. Um, it's a set pattern. You know basically what you're looking at. And once you sort of learn the pattern, when you get the cards, then the cards themselves and the spread that you choose tells the story. Um, so I hope that helps. Uh, in terms of understanding the difference between a tarot and an oracle deck. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.